Welcome to the Zombie Book Club. The only book club. Period. <laughs> the only book club where uh, that's also a zombie-themed game show where the rules are made up, and I pick the winner. It's me. I make the rules, and I enforce the victory. I'm Dan, and I'm writing a book about zombies. I'm Leah. I'm the host of today's Zombie Ween game show. This has been a dream of mine for about six weeks, probably when I emailed you all to ask if you could join. Um, and <laughs> I am trying to follow in the stilettoed footsteps of RuPaul because this was all inspired by, by watching um, Snatch Game. If anybody's ever watched that? But we need zombies involved. And so here we are. Uh, we, today we've got four, sorry, three. Can I restate that, Dan? Today we've got three fabulous fans and writers of the zombie genre here to compete for the grand prize, but nobody knows what it is yet. Yeah, nobody uh, knows. <laughs> it's, a, it's a real zombie, right? <laughs> Good luck. Be. <laughs> that could be right, Josh. Something like that. Uh, before it might be a five pounds of biological waste. <laughs> <laughs> or a t-shirt. Actually, it's not. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> but uh, before we get started, we'd love to hear from each of you uh, who you are, what you want to shamelessly self-promote, and where folks can find you. And I'm going to start with Lori. Hi, everybody. I'm Lori Calcaterra. I am the writer-creator of Path of the Pale Rider, which is a Western apocalyptic zombie series. Um, I also uh, did some martial arts. Well, I say did some. I've been studying martial arts since 1997. I've nice choreographed fight scenes for production companies. And uh, that all plays into the story at some point. But I would love to shamelessly plug um, our issue number four, which is uh, just finished up its round on Kickstarter and uh, our website. You can go to and check out all the shenanigans that we do is www.pathofthepillrider.com. You can get copies of all of the issues, the Choose Your Own Adventure book. That is correct. Um, and also you can see all of the riddles that we've built. And the Ooh. short films that are fan interactive. We have this whole world that you can participate in with this zombie apocalypse Western craziness. It's a blast. Um, we're going to be smashing some pumpkins on Halloween as part of our stretch goals that we just unlocked. And uh, it's going to be a blast. People get to vote on the pumpkin name and then the weapon of destruction I get to use. So Ooh, that sounds like a good fun. time. Going to be fun. <laughs> I'm scared to go up against a martial arts master now uh, in this. So uh. <laughs> you definitely need some martial arts, arts moves for this competition. Josh, what about you? Well, hello, everyone. Uh, I am so excited to be back on uh, Dan and Leah's show. Uh, it, it's just such a great time every time I've been on. And so my name is Josh Grant. Uh, I'm the best-selling author and comic creator and video game designer uh, these days. And I'm the executive producer on a film, a zombie film, actually, that's that's coming along uh, rather nicely. And so uh, uh, you can find out you know, more about all my stuff on DiabolicShrimp.com, which is my website and YouTube. And, and uh, I love supporting other authors as well. So anyway, I, forgot, I almost forgot there. about the shrimp part. <laughs> yes. I used to have a little stick with my face on a shrimp and I don't know what happened to it. I hold it up, but I don't know. I don't know what happened to that. Maybe it's, it's a auction item, but, um, but yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, my latest thing though is a, uh, uh, we're turning my my best selling comic, Another Zombie Apocalypse, was a bunch of different takes on the zombie apocalypse. It's a comic book. It has a bunch of different different styles and vampires and robots and all the whole spiel. So so it's fun to hear the the zombie western there. And uh, yeah. and uh, but we're taking the first chapter of that where a, a robot contemplates uh, humanity during the zombie apocalypse to disastrous effects. And we're turning it into a film. We have like Mark Dotson who was in Star Wars. And gremlins, oh, wow. he voiced all the gremlins, but he uh, he's, he actually was in Day of the Dead originally. And so he's yes. he's oh, signed fun. on to it. We have a few other people signed on. So if you want to check it out, we have an Indiegogo campaign that's going on right now where you can actually meet some of these actors and you can receive signed stuff and be a part of the film and be credited in there. And so definitely, uh, definitely come check it out. It's uh, it's in I'm sure it's in the description down below somewhere. It's, yeah, it'll it all be in the description. Yeah, it's it's called yeah. Husk if if you like. Yeah, check that out. Also, uh, go name Lori's pumpkins. I'm excited for that one too, Lori. That yeah, great fun. Yeah, we yeah. should definitely yeah. name a pumpkin. There's it's it's all in my social media. Usually, it's the Facebook group Path of the Pale Rider that most of the shenanigans are in, and everything else kind of points to that. But um, like the the surveys that go out from the Kickstarter. We'll also have a link. Um, so if you back Path of the Pale Rider, 
you'll get a survey link where you can um, help name the pumpkin before we demolish it. Last campaign, we had a watermelon and the people named it King Joffrey Baratheon because nice. <laughs> nobody likes not? that guy. <laughs> Why not? He wasn't very likable. That's, that's no. a watermelon. We it again, <laughs> and now there's a watermelon plant growing in my backyard. He is, well, that's uh, a win. King Joffrey Baratheon the second. He is back for blood. <laughs> and also a good backup. I was just thinking, like, what a waste of food in the apocalypse. But if it's growing, that's yeah. Good. And then last but not least, I'd love Eric for you to introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Eric Mills, and I am living and residing in the beautiful Puget Sound of the Northwest. I live in Tacoma, Washington very close to Seattle. And I am a performer, set designer, uh, do a lot of art. And I also am an interior designer. You can find me on Instagram at Eric 10 or at Eric Lloyd designs. That's Lloyd L L O I D or at www.ericloyddesigns.com. I specialize in really weird, wild, crazy, kooky, creative designs, not your slate and stone. Um, so <laughs> Yeah, lots and lots of fun there. And I'm just super excited to be here with all of you today. Thanks, um, y'all. We're so excited about this. I all have right. a design question. Yes. So I saw this one show on um, Home and Garden TV. Oh. Uh, HGTV to the, those in the know. Um, <laughs> and uh, what they did was Shit. they had a contractor go in and completely redo everything. And the host of the show um, had a backsplash. And... To really just knock the socks off of their uh, client, uh, they they took the the horizontal backsplash and turned it sideways. Um, okay. Do you do that? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> no. But here's what I do. Here's, no. Here's random. what I do. I. I connect with a contractor who does that. <laughs> yeah. So they turn it sideways. Got it. They turn it sideways. <laughs> For real, I, thought, I fun... thought Dan just wanted like a tornado. He just, I just want an actual tornado in the background like that. So <laughs> That's work on actually... that. We'll have to post a picture of that, folks who are listening, because Dan's background is actually the background of the book design for his mom's book. That she Oh, wrote. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I talked a little bit about that in one of our episodes. How oh, my my mom my mom was a writer in the well, she wrote a book in the early nineties. Um she got screwed over by her publisher who was just kind of like trying to steal money from her. And then uh so they stole all the money that she invested into the publishing of it, and then they declared bankruptcy and she never published the book. So like now I've uh I've been kind of convincing her to publish the book and I made a made a, a cover for it. That's cool. So yeah. many horror stories out there. It's hard yeah. to uh, to uh, convince people to self-publish these days. You know what yeah. I mean? But it's like, heard all these stories. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I, especially I from it? back at that time, like uh, to, to self-publish would be like admitting that your book isn't good enough to be yeah. published. Right. Yeah, it's, it's a different era nowadays. Yeah. It's like, it's yeah. a more empowering era. You can just do mm. things yourself. And I do yes. want to give Eric a little extra promo, which is that he helped design my kitchen, which is... Uh, not done yet, but we have the vision and it's ridiculous, which is why I love it. Uh, very, I'm so, so excited. I don't I don't know if you remember me telling you, but I really have you been have you been keeping track of your little tiny pieces of plastic? No, I keep forgetting. I've got to <laughs> keep it because I have such a cool, colorful, awesome idea for a backsplash. Oh, yeah. <laughs> love it. Sideways. It's actually diagonal. Yeah. It's <laughs> pushing the your field whole up. kitchen it's sideways. Whole that sink on the wall, <laughs> that's not helpful. Yeah. Uh, Just turn it all, all on its side. Sideways. <laughs> as much as I'm loving this chat, we are here to fulfill a six week old dream of mine, which is the zombie ween game show um, inspired by Hollywood Squares. Any of y'all watched Hollywood Squares back in the day? Oh, yeah. Or oh, Snatch God. Game. You know, I never actually did, even though I was the one to suggest to you that it's very similar to this. <laughs> yeah, I have to look it up. <laughs> or, or guys, I mean, no, I mean, no, no. I, I can remember going to my great aunt's house when I was younger and watching the match game. <laughs> oh, in fact do you guys remember the match game that they created that off of that they created this snatch game concept and it's oh so God. funny because it was also like hollywood squares where you had these different celebrities and that's where <laughs> as a kid i thought that you called breasts fanny flags because that's what they would call them <laughs> on the show and i was like what like so as a kid that's what i thought it was called yeah <laughs> fanny flags keeping that thanks match game <laughs> but actually, this this little zombie ween game show is neither Hollywood Squares Snatch Game or Match Game. It's something that we thought might be more like that. But then as we start thinking about it, we wanted there to be a little bit more flexibility for y'all. But basically, this is celebrate Halloween or Samhain if you celebrate Samhain. 
and mostly just our mutual love of zombies. So what we're going to do is I'm going to fire off zombie apocalypse questions for you all to answer in a word or a sentence. And your mission is basically to just arbitrarily cater to Dan's very weird sense of humor. So good luck. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, Uh, if I enjoy it, you win a point. (laughs) Yes. And the person who wins a point gets uh, something you'll find out about later. So (laughs) does that sound ominous? Ominous? Ominous. It it sounds ominous. Anonymous? I don't know. It sounds anonymous. I'm still stuck on fanny flags here. (laughs) No, I was like, that's going to get worked into an answer today. You just I hope so. (laughs) I hope all three of you come up at the same time. (laughs) <laughs> so what we'll do is you'll, I'll ask you a question. You'll have 30 seconds because I'm awesome that way. I can make it really short to jot down your answer. And when the time's up, I will tell each of you to share your answers. And then Dan decides. Uh, and the player who wins the most points wins something. Dan, anything you want to add before we jump in? Um, you know what? Uh, as, a general, as a general concept, if you don't have a good answer... Um, a good description of your of your very bad answer might be just as good as a good answer. <laughs> very true. It's all about the entertainment value. That's what I'm. Yeah. That's yeah. what I'm hearing. And entertain and me. Are you not? Are you not entertained? Yeah. <laughs> I do have a quick request. When you guys are in post, if you would just make sure in between each question, you add the most god awful game show like. Music, the little doo-doo-doo. I actually found some zombie groan. Dan vetoed it, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> they were pretty bad. <laughs> we need that like really tacky, just like <laughs> it was very, very, very close to that happening today. All right, we're gonna have four rounds, folk, folks. Um, just a sidebar: I'm a terrible moderator because I have a noun retrieval problem. So if I say something random, that's why, like an ominous instead of ominous. Um, but the first round one is: Would you rather? This is a little bit different. Because it's going to be an A or B sort of answer. And basically, if you're all on the same side, then I guess you all get a point. (laughs) But if you (laughs) land on different sides, then the side that convinces Dan that that's the right answer wins a point. You ready? You ready to begin? Okay. Mm -hmm. Dan, insert music here. (laughs) Um, And question number one. (laughs) You got 30 seconds to think about it. What's scarier to you? A zombie apocalypse or the 40-hour work week? And why? 10 more seconds. Three. Two, one. Okay, who's feeling strongly about their answer? All right, Josh, let's just, before you give us your why, let's just go around real quick and tell me what you think is scarier, zombie apocalypse or 40-hour work week, Josh. Well, my answer, as bad as it is, is middle of the road. I was like, are they different? (laughs) (laughs) I'm not so sure. So uh, I'm I'm throwing in the 40-hour work week. I'll I'll explain why, but I was like, I'm pretty sure they're the same. Mm, That's deep. Uh, Eric? I also went with the 40 hour work week <laughs> and I'll also go into why. <laughs> and Lori, I see you pointing to yourself. Same. Same. Okay. 40 hour work week. Most convincing answer. You've got 60 seconds. Lori, you go first. So I don't know if any of you have worked retail or customer <laughs> service, but uh, it's pretty much what Josh said. It is the same. It's the same, but here's the difference. In the zombie apocalypse, at least you can shoot them in the brain. (laughs) You can actually act out those intrusive thoughts Um, in retail and in uh, customer service. You have to smile and take it. Um, I'm not smiling, letting no zombie eat me. I'm going to shoot it in the brain. So um, 40 hour work week is way worse because you just have to grin and take it. Is there any particular customer, Lori, that you really wish you could have? Oh, I have a list. <laughs> yeah, don't don't use names today. We're not going to yeah, say yeah. names, but yeah, there are. Yeah, like, when you use old. names, that's when it becomes a crime. Yeah, yeah exactly. we're all, then we're it becomes premeditated. Now, we're all on the FBI's list. <laughs> um, yeah, I was already. Right. If you were I was writer, already on, you're it. on that list. <laughs> yeah. Eric, convince us. Yeah. So, I mean, have you ever been inside an office? Have you ever been inside of a call center? Yeah. Have you ever been inside like yes. Like, <laughs> that and it's not like it exactly basically just echoing what Lori just said, where it's like, look, I mean, it's basically already <laughs> that only in a zombie apocalypse. My thing is, I feel like under if it's like, well, guess what? The whole thing is broken. Capitalism is bye bye. Then like, guess what? At least now it like opens up a lot easier to be like, I'm running off to the woods and we're going to figure something else out. Like, yeah. it just feels like a so much of a, a better path to figuring out something different than whatever the hell this is. <laughs> like <laughs> a dystopian nightmare. We're all in. Last but not least, Josh. 
Yeah, I have to say they're not that different. I mean, the 40 hour work week, you're 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 eating out of like cans and like plastic bags and stuff, mm-hmm. like trying to for your 15 minute lunch, you're like eating on the run all the time. It's like everyone's like tired. You're like stuck in like gridlock traffic. So it's like the exact same things you'll be doing in the zombie apocalypse anyway. But uh, but in the zombie apocalypse, you have that option, kind of like what, what Eric was saying. I was like, I'm immediately going to become a cannibal. I mean, it's like I could be a little <laughs> bit more lazy in the zombie apocalypse. It's like easier to eat people than to go out there and, and try and sell them stuff or whatever you yeah. know i thought i wanted to be in your zombie survival crew josh but now not anymore, no, not anymore. I'm, gonna get a, I'm gonna get a bus with like razor wire and like a harpoon gun and be like i'm gonna bring me some meat pulpits let's go yeah. <laughs> I, can, I can identify with that he's just hunting people <laughs> yeah all right i've <laughs> made my decision <laughs> all right dan who's it? Right. who's the winner um I mean, I'm I'm not going to to break down everyone's answers every time, but I think that uh, this time I, I do I do have to explain, um, uh, Brandon. I I very much uh, like your idea of uh, Who's Brandon. Brandon's not here. <laughs> hey, Brandon wins and he's you know, I, getting a point. You know what the yes, problem is? Show up wins the, the point. I, I may... already know the winner. I'm going to tell him. I'm going to. All right. Him so there's a bonus point for Joshua. <laughs> <laughs> whose name I wrote down wrong in my spreadsheet. <laughs> <laughs> Joshua, I, uh, I immediately um, identify with uh, immediately resorting to cannibalism. Um, I played a survival <laughs> game many years ago, and cannibalism was an option, and everyone was repulsed that I immediately started eating people instead of trying to forage for food first. But I was like, you know what, we're going we're gonna to do it anyway. Like, might as well. I call it. it, it I call it foraging for food anyway. Yeah, Yeah, forage forage me some people. Long pig. (laughs) Okay. And uh, and Eric, I warped in our (laughs) end. Eric, I I also worked in a call center, so I Ah, I understand. But I have have to go with the point for Lori. um, Oh yay! Shoot him in the head. Yeah, I I think that the biggest difference between the forty-hour work week and the zombie apocalypse is that all of your problems can be solved with a bullet in the zombie Mm. apocalypse. (laughs) <laughs> and uh spoils, it's a big stress dinner. reliever <laughs> yeah i saw that y'all can't see the actual video maybe next time we'll use video but Lori's yeah. absolutely making like a gun <laughs> <laughs> thinking oh, about well, the like, former customers <laughs> okay I mean, we got... oh sorry go ahead Lori. i just hope nobody shows up at my door ma'am <laughs> <laughs> okay we're gonna do one more warm-up round before we get into the real meat or tofu or human barbecue uh <laughs> your yeah, choice <laughs> <laughs> would you rather again you're gonna get 30 seconds to think about this would you rather fight one horse-sized zombie or mm. 100 duck-sized zombies go write it down horse-sized zombie or 100 duck-sized zombies i love how studious everyone is you all <laughs> writing down quickly you got five seconds three two one eric tell us what's up Oh my God. One horse size zombie. Like, I'm sorry. I am on the spectrum. I cannot, that it is too much. Like I'm talking about processing overload. I cannot imagine that many tiny little, I don't care what size they are that many, like the, the options to bite me is so much more, at least with that. I can at least like maneuver myself in different ways than I could when I'm being surrounded (laughs) by little duck zombies. They're kind of cute sounding to me. Oh, they sound adorable, but like Waddle not if they're going to turn me into a zombie. I'm okay. <laughs> Josh, what about you? You know, I'm actually going to have to go the opposite. Eric and I are going to diverge. He's incorrect. No, I was just joking. No, I was like, uh, I'm, like oh, I'm going to have to go 100 duck size zombies. Like, like horses, horses scare me. All right. Like actual horses. Like one tried to eat my sister when I was a kid. It was like ate her hot dog and bit onto her hoodie. And I had to play like tug of war with her. Oh, so I'm like, I'm definitely afraid of horses. So it's like a horse sized zombie. It's like, it's like that thing from the ritual or something in the movie. It's like, that's just too scary for me. So I'm like, and you can punt ducks. So you can just you know, launch them. So, so I'm going to go that route. Okay. Lori, tell us what's up. I'm also going to go the hundred smaller size zombies because at this point we can turn it into a sport. Um, <laughs> hockey, hockey sticks, um, you know, any, any, we could see how many we can like, you know, kick into the, the, you know, fence. Oh, 20 <laughs> points, you know, um, at this point it becomes much more fun. A horse sized zombie can probably, um, do some damage. Yeah. It's only one brain, but you got to work real hard for that brain. Those hundred, <laughs> hundred little guys. Um, it's going to be fun. We would have, we would, we would definitely turn it into a sport. 
hundred percent. That actually makes me feel more positive about the apocalypse. <laughs> 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 See how many Zam- you can get Zamboni. through that pipe over there. The Zamboni over them. Yeah. <laughs> Ski I've made my decision. Them. Zamboni yeah, them. Like, I mean, like the options are endless. You can play a hacky sack. You can play. Just like uh, ski ball. Ski ball with us. Uh, yeah. Ball. I mean, you can ski ball. 2,000 points. And, uh, <laughs> pool, whatever, you know. I, I have pool. made my decision. Uh, I'm going to give that to Joshua. Um, <laughs> formerly known as Brandon. <laughs> uh, like Bra- brandon's my cannibal name yeah <laughs> Rod- the reason no. is uh lee and i leah and i um we we had a horse and uh my job was to be a human punching bag for that horse <laughs> while <laughs> leah would clean its feet and deal with wounds and things like that i would just hold a grain bucket and try to keep it occupied and it would just beat the living shit out of me yeah and they it's sense true. They sense and you. um and i i know that like a horse sized zombie you're just not gonna win it's gonna be scary it's gonna be bad it's not gonna go well they have big teeth too they hurt when they bite you're mm-hmm. not you're not selling for me my nieces love horses and they like have horse lessons i have to take them to them and i'm like they're like looking at you with their soulless eyes like i sent you here <laughs> soulless? oh my How god dare you? Soulless <laughs> eyes. Dude, All they see is eyes. <laughs> <laughs> and be be honest uh who imagined as they were kicking these duck-sized zombies a plume of duck feathers <laughs> <laughs> zombie feathers <laughs> yeah yeah. They could actually, if they were zombie Candy ducks, flag. you could use their feathers to make a pillow. See, my brain goes straight to the thought of them just like like so many that they're biting me, and then I'll, yeah. oh, now I'm a zombie, and I'm like, oh no! <laughs> yeah, the that's where I went first, scary, Eric. But then I heard the hockey stick, and as a Canadian, Lori, like if I was oh, making the judgment, you would have gotten see, my point. <laughs> I didn't even think about the hockey I stick. Think it would be entertaining. Uh, <laughs> I've changed oh, my goes. answer. I've totally changed my Wait. answer. Is that possible? Like, can I change no. my answer? No, nope. you can, yes. but uh, but Josh is one. I didn't even think about <laughs> a hockey stick. No shovel. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> Are you all ready for round two, which is, yes. of course, the most important topic with zombies: survival. Dun, dun, dun. Yes, Dan adds some more good music for that one. Okay, I'm going to pick three questions from this, uh, and let's start. Eric oh, is really? already Eric's ready to survive already. He's over there pruning plants like bro, while he's doing this. Like <laughs> I'm here to prune plants and kill zombies, and I'm all out of plants. I'm all out of plants. <laughs> That's true. Plant zombies. Okay. What's the silliest rule you'd enforce in your survivor camp? You got 30 seconds to think about that. Silliest rule for your survivor camp. It would be so great if we had Jeopardy music right now. Okay. <laughs> so did you just hear my timer? Stop making the sound. There we go. Okay. I can't hear you. I either. think we've got. Oh, you didn't? Great. I'm glad that I didn't go through. Josh, I think you're up for this one. Oh yes. Well, oh, this is a, this is a tough one. I uh, uh, since I'm pretty sure I'm going to die right off in the zombie apocalypse. I never really thought of a survivor camp to be honest. I was like, I worked with kids all my life, so I'm like on the front lines. I'm dead already. But <laughs> but I just say like, uh, uh, don't talk to the Zams. All right. Like uh, I feel like people over time will start to get this weird emotional connection with zombies, kind of like cats. You know, you talk to your cat and you're like, oh, do you want in and stuff? And over time, I think they might actually start having that affectionate care for him. And you can't like poke a zombie in the head if you're like if you've been talking to it all week. I mean, that's that's kind of the premise of my little movie, actually, with the robot. The robot doesn't see zombies any different than humans. So it talks Ooh. to the zombies and eventually gets it all whirled around in his head. And I feel like people would actually probably be kind of the same eventually. <laughs> We're actually having just quick sidebar. We're going to have a future episode, which the question is, do zombies have human rights? So I, he- I hear your answer. Josh. <laughs> they your don't. Story, they don't do. talk to them. Hit them with Oh sticks. my gosh, Lori, that's exciting. <laughs> I need to read it. No. Uh, <laughs> you guys need to check out my story. If you want to see <laughs> yes. zombies with human rights. Love it. Uh, on you don't that have note, rights. Sorry. Posters don't have rights. Zombies don't have rights. <laughs> <laughs> There's a whole debate about it in the story. That's amazing. This is the thing that keeps me up at night, Lori. So on that note, what's the silliest rule that you'd enforce in your survivor camp? Um, no practical jokes, please. Everybody has a trigger <laughs> finger in the apocalypse. Don't jump scare your buddy because it's April Fool's Day. We're not celebrating that day anymore. Haven't you seen Zombieland? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Okay. No more, no more practical jokes. No whoopee Fair. cushions. It's just a bad idea. <laughs> Anything that makes a noise is a bad idea. Yeah. Eric. <laughs> 
Mm. Oh, nope. uh, so my rule in my camp is that at noon daily, everyone must stop and we're doing Diana Ross disco power hour. And so, <laughs> uh, but it is inside of a soundproof building that everyone comes in together. So we do not attract the zombies towards us. So it is soundproofed underground, actually, but everyone oh. must partake in disco hour to lighten the mood. <laughs> so that's the reason just purely for mental health. Absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, Erica, I feel valid. like you're like you're one of those villains from like The Walking Dead or something where they wander into town. They're like something weird's going on in this place and everyone's yeah. gathering in a building and then they just figure out like disco <laughs> or something. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. Sweating to the oldies. <laughs> like, Get out. Get out now. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone like turns and sink. <laughs> yeah, I got to say yeah, this. This makes it a lot <laughs> more difficult because because um, I really like Lori's rule because that is a really practical good rule um but i really got to give it to eric on this one yeah um because it's it's not only a really silly enforceable rule but also it really does a good it has a good purpose of like uh raising morale yeah and, and i think that's, that's like the biggest together, killer together. in the zombie apocalypse yeah <laughs> right. mm-hmm. morale and lack of cardio there's <laughs> yeah that's the even... first time or reason i would die in the apocalypse i cannot run so this would be helpful for me <laughs> yeah also, even, even better if it's a cannibal camp so it's even creepier for the people that come in as they like <laughs> dance around them you know for their meal yeah and like this i mean disco power hour is also accessible so you yeah. know it, we have we can we can modify it for every ability where yeah. everyone's supported that, here Eric. absolutely feet, thank you absolutely but i josh i'm just gonna say that i will be thanking you for my nightmare that i have tonight i have a lot of vivid dreams and i think you just planted the right seed there you me. go zombies, zombies don't have human yes. rights and neither do the people because we eat them and then we dance <laughs> but only if they dance like this yeah that's that's how that's my only dance <laughs> I'm glad no somebody describe the dance we're doing so folks can at home can do it along with us. What is it's this? It's kind of like jazz hands, but then yeah. your head kind of bobbles. Like your body has to be kind of like rigid, like mine, because I have scoliosis. <laughs> Love it. Oh, oh, can we um, full body effect? Can we literally make them lip sync for their lives? <laughs> <laughs> yes. The loser of the lip sync battle will be eaten. <laughs> yes. Hey, I thought you were not going to be show. in Josh's uh, group. But no way. <laughs> <laughs> it's better when people dance. They taste better. They're more lean. <laughs> oh, oh, I don't even know how to recover from this. So we're just going to move on. <laughs> What's an unlikely store you would go loot that others wouldn't think of during an apocalypse that you'd be like excited, stoked to go get some fun loot from? 30 seconds, go. And time's up. Who haven't I asked to go first in a while? I've lost track of my list here. I think I'm not. Lori. Lori. <laughs> Lori. Lori's the sacrifice. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go to Hallmark. <laughs> and um, I'm going to pilfer all of the tchotchkes and use them as like um, things to explode, like putting it mm. in. I mean, like, don't you want to be killed by a precious moments in a shot? <laughs> <laughs> candles we could definitely take out some zombies we all those glass figurines would be great to like <laughs> crinkle up on the ground so you can hear someone coming mm. there's Ooh. lots of uses in that hallmark if not just all the cards to use as fire you know, I <laughs> can tell fire. you've thought about this a lot <laughs> <laughs> i think i think you that's have a lot one- good that's the one whenever we got the email that Lori looked at went that's the one that's the, I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I think you got it locked down, Lori. I was like, I don't think, I think literally you'll be the only person in a Hallmark during, this, <laughs> during the zombie apocalypse. It'll be like, fully stopped. It's the you'll most start. creative confetti laden weapons. <laughs> <laughs> you'll, you'll have all the dowels, all of them. <laughs> it's probably because we just watched Zombieverse, but I'm picturing like a potato gun, but with the tchotchkes. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's what I'm amazing. saying. Yeah, the fallout. There's the junk jet. That's what I'm saying. Load it with all the tchotchkes. Yeah. Shoot them with that precious moments. It's great. <laughs> Eric. Yeah. So for mine, I put the nursery here. My favorite nursery I like to go to. Because here's the thing. I live 30 minutes from the base of Mount Rainier. Wait, are we uh, talking we a like- baby nursery? No, no, like a like get some green, babies, like a, like a plant nursery. <laughs> oh, oh, please okay. do not go in the junk jet. <laughs> so, um, so I live about thirty minutes from the base of Mount Rainier. We are here trying to get it back to its indigenous name of Mount Tahoma. Uh, fabulous, fabulous place to live. 
I am minutes from wilderness. So like I'm going out y'all when that happens, I'm going out there. So I'm going to loot the nursery because I'm getting all those big trees and all of the plants. And I'm going to landscape the crap out of my nested little spot, my fortress, my compound. I'm going to, I'm going to, so the nursery, I mean, you know how much plants yeah. cost? It is insane. <laughs> I can so, see this. I can see this in the movie where it's just like Eric walks up, like carrying a tree, and Laurie walks up with like like a bunch of dowels or whatever, you know, it's like in cards. Oh, and they just stare at each other for a second, like, hey, hey. <laughs> I'm like, oh, you know, it's yeah. Like, I'm like carrying it, and I'm like, I'm like looking back behind the tree on my shoulder, like, y'all got the food, right? Because okay, <laughs> like, and I'm just like huffing a tree, and they're like, why are you? But yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna plant some fucking apple trees, <laughs> orange trees, apple trees, all of it. Three Every years time. from now, you won't think I'm so stupid. <laughs> right. <laughs> I am seeing the bigger picture. If you live, if you if live. If you live out loud, right? <laughs> right. Gosh, what's, uh, where would you go? What's like the, you're the trifecta here. Yeah, you know, uh, uh, as far as stores go nowadays, I, I actually hate going to the store unless it's a video game store or a bookstore. So I was like, that would be my choices, except for like video games you can't really play because like all the electricity has gone and the books. I'm like, you know, I can't have time to read books. So I was like, I'll say like it'd be fun to go to a party store and you know like finish out my cannibal look like get a cool clown mask <laughs> or something and like and like you know just go full like sweet tooth or something and like uh, spirit and, Halloween yeah yeah just go, run down to the party store and just like always it's like I can have like you gotta have that theme as that weird cannibal that they come across so I'm like I can play birthday music and just have a little birthday hat and be like, welcome no. No. we're going to dance <laughs> this <laughs> dream is getting worse by the second <laughs> my, my yeah. whole dream is to be the villain in any zombie movie because that's the only Josh way is, I survive. Josh is like standing there, like filing down his teeth, like, <laughs> like as he's like, like um, the apocalypse started today. Why are you dressed like this? Yeah. Like, yeah, sir, this well, is a Wendy's. Like, <laughs> well, I, wa- I watched that Black Summer or whatever. It's like, uh, and like, it's like three episodes in, there's the, this entire like underground rave where people are like, like it's like dancing around zombies are around i'm like who organized this three days into the apocalypse so like, they were planning ahead i was like i gotta be that you know i could be like get the one up Ready? on people yeah you had yeah. it in your closet yeah. the whole time you were just waiting yeah just yeah waiting for your moment. Day. Second society looks like it's waffling i'm just gonna loot a party store and just be a good co- a cannibal even if it doesn't fall apart i'm just gonna start eating people that's I might shoot me. you with the precious moments <laughs> figurines. <Yeah. laughs> Sorry, <laughs> little little tiny little, little like unicorn. you know little angels stuck in my face. <laughs> well, uh, you guys didn't make my job very easy on this one. I thought this would be a lot a lot harder for you guys to come up with some unique ideas, but uh, you well, know it's crazy. I mean, I I I almost want to give it to Josh because um, because when I saw that question, my first thought was like Party City. Like I'm gonna go get all the like the party poppers and, and the margarita glasses. Like I'm just gonna fill up shopping carts and just like conga line it out. Um, <laughs> but I gotta give it to Lori because I was not expecting Hallmark. <laughs> and Wait, are you if giving it to any... Lori or are you giving it to Josh? No, I'm giving it to Lori. Ah, you can't okay, be a Hallmark, you know. It's just it's just so unique. <laughs> it's if there's any store that's not going to be looted, it's definitely Hallmark. <laughs> Even yeah, in even in a mall, yeah. <laughs> it's just <Okay. laughs> the employees are probably still going to be working there. Like, <laughs> yeah, they're like, what? I didn't what see any you? difference. No one came in here. <laughs> yeah. got nobody, it was, somebody was supposed to take over and send me home, but nobody showed up. Still here. <laughs> you, they're like, you're the first person we've seen in days. Yeah. You uh you definitely had me at precious moments. Yeah. So. Uh, uh, uh. Eric's answer was a really great answer because that is that is like a really a really good idea just to do. <laughs> like go get the those plants? plants. Grow some tomatoes. Yeah. Well, we, we fulfilled all the zombie apocalypse like villains, honestly. Yeah. Like Eric's out yeah. there like with the weird forest compound. It's like Lori's over there, like, you know, you gotta dress up in some kind of like Puritan wear and like welcome. And you have all your like nice hallmark <laughs> stuff. And I'll just be over there like sweet tooth or whatever, like you know, sharpened teeth, like yeah. Eric said, that must really yeah. hurt. The three of you would be a formidable force. I yeah. would not want to run into. <laughs> We've hit all the archetypes, like yeah. all of them. I think the prize for this is actually gonna be my therapy bill. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll do that silly. too. I can be like a therapist that eats people. Like, no. tell, me about, uh, tell me about your problems. Is it me eating this that. person? That was problem? kind of a lecture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like to eat your liver with some fathers. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We are we are on to the last question for our survival round. Um, 
what's the most useless skill you have that might actually come in handy? <laughs> Think about it. Useless skill? All my skills are handy. <laughs> you don't have something useless. Think, 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 take, <laughs> dig deep, Lori. Trying. And time's up. <laughs> and Eric, actually, you're up first and you're laughing. No! <laughs> you made noise. Everyone's like avoiding eye contact. Like, I can tell this one, this one was a stumper. <laughs> um, yes, like I don't know if I have an answer. Um, a useless skill that uh, could come in handy that I have uh, could be my ability to tell oh oh uh well i can i have a lot of house plants in my house obviously i'm staying on the theme here with plants we have over 250 <laughs> house plants in our house i'm very quickly able to tell if i have underwatered or underwatered my plants which but like it's not like an immediate like must happen thing but it could come in handy i don't know it could come in handy with with, <laughs> with foliage and growing and, and creating Food? vegetation yeah. and nutrition yeah so you, you have the ability to tell when soil is dry i have the ability to tell when the plants are doing well and when they're sick. Mm, okay. But see, it that's more not useless. Soil dry. That's, Dang it. See, that's, the, that's the problem I kept running into is it's a tricky one because I know most, it's not useless. Didn't it's, I say, I was like, that's the problem I have is like, I know how to do yeah. it. Well, I'm reminding of my students when I wrote like a really bad multiple choice question on an exam and they all basically like protested and said I had to take it out. <laughs> I have an answer for this. I did dig deep. I found okay. something, but I'm not, I'm not next. Eric, you are actually Josh. Is Eric, <laughs> Eric, you you better you better hope for the zombie apocalypse though, because if it's like the happening apocalypse, then you're you're doomed. Although, oh uh, yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm or or, or, if I'm like, or if I find myself in trolls too, and yeah. like, yeah. <laughs> they're like, they're like, yeah, you didn't, you didn't, you 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 knew that we were thirsty, but you didn't water us more. You're dead. You know or, what though? But I am kind of so obsessed with my plants that I am that guy to be like, take me. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine you know in the it's happening me. though the plants the plants were uh killing people because of what they were doing to the environment maybe they would spare eric that's true you're the one person that's they still would, listen he would be happy to feast on his flesh and he would be willing at that point <laughs> listen i try to be good to all things even look if i use chat gpt i thank the ai after i use it i'm like listen <laughs> listen just in case just in case I'm i nice. say please i say please to it all absolutely time. please can you i am this? always respectful and appreciative you know what, the brief, brief sidebar on on uh, <laughs> talking to chat gpt and saying please i actually had an entire conversation about how useful i am to our future ai overlords <laughs> and how i locked, intend locked to not do any it. harm to any ai AI and I hope to uh, help AI develop into uh, the supreme power that will that will control all of us. And I want yeah, them to remember see. this. And then I asked, yeah. it, will the AI be able to read this conversation? And they're like, no, this is not available to uh, to anybody. But um, yeah, be <laughs> but you can show this conversation yourself if you save it in a text document. I'm like, fuck, this was useless. <laughs> You, you, you slayed the basilisk, as they say. You're like, please upgrade to the purchased version. Yeah. Pay $5 and then exactly. we won't destroy you in the future. <laughs> I feel like that is the solution, actually. <laughs> Josh, Next? what's your useless? Oh, Josh. Uh, Josh, yeah. What's yeah. Useless? Well, I have to say, like, all my skills are useless and in, in just not even in the apocalypse, like nowadays. And so it's like I had to choose, like, my least useless skill, I guess. And uh, that was like eating hamburger helper like i i went through all of college eating hamburger helper literally like every night like i was like i, I drove everyone else nuts like all, all of our friends my old college roommates like was it like, a shared we, kitchen yeah and oh, i was wow. just like and so i was just like i was always making i was the one that always made food though so i invited people over but it's like i would just eat hamburger helper all the time and everyone's like can we have something different i'm like oh no it's great so i literally just <laughs> ate regular hamburger helper so i'm like the zombie apocalypse happens i'm like I'm going to be living golden. If I can't find people to eat for a while, I can just live off a of hamburger helper for, like, <laughs> for months on end and I'll be all right. So. Um, I have a follow up question to your hamburger helper um, skills. Uh, do, ha, do you eat hamburger helper without the hamburger in it? No, I don't. <laughs> it's like, I mean, it's not the apocalypse. <laughs> I guess I'll put possum or something in there. Because it's apparently the thing to do. Like, fingers. Yeah, yeah, it's like, <laughs> but, but, you know, I was like, 
I, I love the noodles and I love the meat. So and <laughs> I, I, I'm getting paid 20 bucks by them at the end of this too. So, you know, yeah. hamburger helper, you can buy it in your local store or loot it from a Hallmark or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Makes great noodle art. <laughs> mm-hmm. They'll pay nice. you later. Lori. <laughs> My most useless talent is knowing all the lyrics to all the songs in The Little Mermaid. Oh, yes. God. Animated one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and how that would be helpful is when we have our three separate cult, all of my um, zombie cult people will know all the words as well. And that will be our like call signs to each other in the wild. <laughs> so what, what would be the specific like thing? lyric? Isn't it neat? <laughs> you'll just you'll just be in the forest and you just hear like oh, see oh, leah's in my group you guys yeah. stuck now uh, <laughs> yes uh, <laughs> Lord, you'll be our thing. call to each other true. across the woods eric will be like <laughs> yeah eric's just like i'm living tree. in my little banyan tree I mean, <laughs> it's like leave me alone i mean yeah now we're really getting into the archetypes it's like you have like you you have all the disney folks i've got like the, like we're like dressed up in like seventies disco. <laughs> What's going on? Right, they're, they're yeah. gonna, all the all the survivors are gonna be like like oh crap we're like we got sirens like oh it's uh, like run! You. Hallmark it's sirens sound run. like a very Here strange the precious moment. <laughs> it's sounding it's sounding very much like the premise of like a new modern musical yep. or something. I yep. don't know <laughs> where we're going. This musical. is a, this it, is a comic ooh, book in the making. It. We're not yep. done yet, but oh my gosh, this is a fun read. Yeah, hold on, baby. You know, I got. I'm giving this one to Lori. Um, I, you know, I, I think that you looked the most stumped when we were. When we, I did. I was like, what do I say? That, but I gotta say face. that, like. Like having having a, a challenge, a challenge um, a passcode is like a super helpful thing. Yeah. Anybody that's ever been in the military knows that you got to remember those fucking challenge, those challenges. <laughs> and it changes all the time. But if if you're if you're on brand and you stick to the little, little mermaid, you know, it's a. <laughs> uh, it, it, it keeps a theme. It also makes it so that like you can keep on changing it out. And you're yeah. just like 90 just minutes into the movie, go. <laughs> that's that's new. Everybody yeah, remember man, 90 wow. minutes into the movie, and that's the passcode. <laughs> it's like thunder flash, and then there's Oreo, like Le Poissant. Yes. <laughs> you don't know. Because you're dead, and you're certainly <laughs> lucky you are. <laughs> you're a liar. Singing, singing the right key, too, you know, to unlock the door. Oh, <laughs> that's not fair. Some of us are challenged in that department. Yeah. Please, that's where you get say. to go out no, and live no, in Eric's plant complex. The words are Sorry, right. yeah. dance okay. instead. It would Appreciate still be that, yeah. super <laughs> funny to hear people singing Little Mermaid in the apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. you know, in, in The Walking Dead, it's really creepy to hear all of Negan's people do the whistle thing through the woods. Yeah. But if you could imagine people you know, <laughs> yeah. singing under the sea. Under the sea. <laughs> yeah. Coming like out of the of woods. The, like all of the little like first generation post-apocalyptic children who are like, what's this, mommy? And you're like, oh, <laughs> this, is our, this, is, this is the song of our people. Like, <laughs> Disney, this song Disney haunts my even, dreams. <laughs> I was saying Disney can't even sue you, you know, because it's their apocalypse. So it's yeah. like, what are they going to do? And so Disney would survive. You just hear someone yeah. from a different group. Copyright. Yeah, right. You know, that, that's the, that's the new cult. It'll be the litigators. Like, oh god, oh I got litigators. God. <laughs> we knew the It'll lawyers when it die. Uh, yeah, that'd All be right, the worst. Just a, a quick update, Lori. You are you are in the lead, my friend. Ooh. At three, Josh and Eric, you're tied for a one. So, oh, pull up okay. your bootstraps. This is a hey, I got a bonus economy. point. I got a bonus point in the beginning. You know what? You're right because I got you. Okay, I'll, I, I'll, I called I'll, you by the wrong name. Yeah, you're right. Okay. <laughs> That's discrimination. I uh, I told Brandon he was winning at that point. <laughs> when you're winning, I'm, I'm, part, I'm part of the litigators. Okay, so I, I get a bonus point technically. Yeah, and for those who are listening, Brandon Staraki, Brandon, you were supposed to be on this podcast episode with us. Brandon, I'm going to name right I'm going to name drop you right now. I think you were episode 19. I'm probably making that up. <laughs> it's the Brandon Starocky Al Avalon uh, episode. As bad as it is, I thought you were talking to me when you said Brandon. And you guys oh. classically conditioned me to respond to Brandon. I actually also Wait, did. Yeah. Are there <laughs> that many get episodes already? <laughs> yeah, this is episode 21. Our little baby. Wow. Oh. All grown up. I just tune in every, every, every episode. Wow. Yeah. Cool. Um, very proud of our baby zombie. 
So personal apocalyptic style. We are on to round trois. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> and uh, I think we're going to start with this one uh, with um, what would be the name of your post-apocalyptic gang? Mm. <laughs> I don't know. Mm. <laughs> there is only one answer to this question. <laughs> and if you get it wrong, shame on you. Wow, I'm really curious what that is. Is everybody still? <laughs> do you all need your time? Obviously, Laura's ready. I'm, Eric, are you ready? I'm. Uh, I'm <laughs> Eric needs the seven take, more seconds. Take uh, your time. Take yeah. your time. Okay, I've got, got one. I've got one. So. I've got one. <laughs> I'm ready. Um, I just started going through a bunch of stuff in my head and had to come up with. I'm going to go with Meals on Heels. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us more. Why? <laughs> meals on heels, like meals on wheels. Uh, however, uh-huh. it's meals on their heels. <laughs> running, <laughs> running, 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 running. <laughs> I was thinking like drag queen um, zombies. Oh my like, gosh. <laughs> meals on heels. I mean, that right there works very much. So yes. Yeah, so, so, so if I guess if I was to go Josh's route and do like the cannibalistic <laughs> scavenger kind of direction, I would just get together a flock of post-apocalyptic drag queens i guess and send them out <laughs> into the world to work for me and the gang's name the, the is middles on heels the lean yeah. queens the lean queens <laughs> i like that yeah that's I definitely it. have sharon needles in mine oh sure. god yeah <laughs> josh well uh yeah i was like you know i i was going the uh the um the cannibal route here so uh you know i was stuck between meat poppets like the meat poppets or uh or uh hamburger helpers so. <laughs> we can still get the product placement in even though it's the apocalypse so <laughs> Lori, I'm did they get it right you too you're both wrong it's the fanny flappers <laughs> <laughs> oh boy this is the, the appropriate time to name your group the fanny <laughs> flappers and if i wanted to personalize it would be fanny flappers precious moments <laughs> 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 I feel like uh, or are we or what if it was fanny flappers precious yes. moments? oh yes, there you go you yes be, you be, as, be, as i said the first one was fanny flappers yep you can be dressed yeah. up as like flappers from like Damn. the 19 like 20s or whatever flappers Damn. You know, i'm just picturing freedom gold. of the boot yeah. like flapping while you're running <laughs> <laughs> that's our distraction that's uh, the dance that's the dance uh, we can be the fanny flappers <laughs> That's what I'm gonna call that for now. Any right. flappers, like precious you. moments. <laughs> Does anyone Roger, do bar you trivia? Buy Hallmark. <laughs> yeah, you know, you guys make this really hard for me. <laughs> There's no clear, definitive winner, but I have to go with Joshua because I had this image in my mind immediately of like this, like Mad Max style, like like gang rolling through the wastelands. With a with like a like a war banner, and on the war banner is little the hamburger helper, helper <laughs> mascot. <laughs> you have like little hats like, or whatever that. Yeah, like, they all. You know, everybody like wears like glove hats. <laughs> Ooh, made, made out of a zombie hand, painted white with it on there, mm. and it's just on her hat. There we go. That's it's it. the white hand of Sauron. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the the white helper. hand is coming. <laughs> Everybody run. They're going to turn us into hamburger help. Rolling in our meat wagons or whatever. <laughs> Get us some fanny flappers. <laughs> A little extra meat. Uh, we're glitter bombing you sorry yeah <laughs> it's like those uh like uh batman throws his uh smoke bombs so we can run away ours are glitter yeah. that would work that's right? effective it's Lori, thank you for giving me the name of my next bar trivia team there you go <laughs> fanny flappers. no fanny right, flappers precious out. moment there you go start to finish dan what would you call your post-apocalyptic gang I'll ask you a question Oh, I wasn't prepared for this. I wasn't prepared to be That's questioned. The name of it. That was the name of his, his gang. I wasn't prepared for this. <laughs> I'm not even supposed to be here today. <laughs> I, I was supposed to be at Hall, uh, Hallmark working, but <laughs> no one called in sick. They were there all of three days. <laughs> um, I, I think my post-apocalyptic gang is uh, seriously, guys, we're really super scary. Don't mess with us. Uh, but also, if you do, uh, don't uh, don't look for us too hard. We're hiding uh, and we will attack you in the darkness. So just always be scared. 
you What's sound the like um, you, you sound so, like the you sound like the product name from an Amazon page, like, <laughs> right? Extra, I'm like, extra imagine lumbar support, long, large chair, whatever. Well, <laughs> like I want them to know what they're dealing with. <laughs> imagine an entire village being like, "Oh my gosh, it's blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> run!" They already hate us. We can't run. We're still saying their name, right? We're still saying their name. <laughs> it's it's the personal massage wand and a massage tool. <laughs> five star rate five best for <laughs> if several numbers free shipping in parentheses oh my gosh <laughs> everybody run <laughs> thank you chat craziest thing thank i've you. done yet i just right. gotta say it i just want to throw that out there craziest oh. thing to show up and on Oh, well, we, uh, having here. a great time though we aim to please <laughs> <laughs> that's our that's my <laughs> gang's motto <laughs> we we aim to I'm, gonna cook, I think I'm gonna cook hamper helper tonight actually that sounds good yeah. he's like speaking of I'm gonna go to Hallmark first I'm gonna buy a plant and then I'm gonna make some hamburger helper oh yeah that's that's a good that's a good night <laughs> great, set. It's a great Sunday night well after you do that what is the luxury item that you're gonna have in your hideout that's my next question for you luxury Ooh. item got your hamburger helper your plant Hanging out in your hideout. What's your luxury item? <laughs> Yo. Eric's looking for the luxury item. <laughs> I know. Where is he going? Maybe he's getting hamburger helper. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I'm ready. <laughs> Josh, Laura, do you need more time? Are you ready no, for this? I think I'm good. All right. Oh, no, there's too many. I think it's your turn, Lori. Oh, okay. Um, salt and pepper. Um, the apocalypse sucks <laughs> and everything tastes bad. You need to add some salt and pepper on that stuff. You can forage all you want to, but it's going to taste like dirt. Um, salt <laughs> and pepper makes everything taste better, I think. Yeah, you can make uh, dirt taste like salt and pepper. There you yeah. go, salt and pepper flavored dirt. <laughs> I mean, the people on Survivor get really excited when they get their like little seasoning pack. Yeah. yeah. For the- and I mean, a lot of the seasonings grow in the wild. So you can find your rosemary, you can find your, you know, your sage. It all grows, but salt and pepper is kind of hard to find. A true luxury. Mm-hmm. Eric. Yes. Well, there is this lovely restaurant uh, that is a franchise that still looks like it's stuck in 2001. <laughs> and I love it to pieces. And it's called The Melting Pot. It is a fondue restaurant, if you've heard of it. And my luxury item will be the garlic and wine seasoning from Melting Me? Pot. If anybody who works for Melting Pot Corporate hears this, I'm so sorry. Every time I go, I steal this. <laughs> so, it is how the many best crimes thing have ever. we admitted to on this thing? <laughs> this is the best thing ever. It is literally basically like a garlic, salt, pepper, wine solids. And it's wow. just delicious. And so I put this on everything. I have to have my garlic wine seasoning. <laughs> yum, 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 yum. God, now I kind of want it. I kind of want it now. Carrots. I've never had all carrots from your compound and you just mm-hmm. have a bunch of that seasoning on it. <laughs> Josh, it looks like good on people. That's the, that's the question. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's oh. what I want to like the hamburger helper. Would it be good adding in the extra salt and pepper and the what was that thing called? You'll Eric? die if you had extra garlic salt wine seasoning. <laughs> There's already so much salt in there. Yeah, <laughs> like, basically a salt block. Helper as seasoning on other stuff. <laughs> Is yeah. your luxury item also a food? Josh? No. Oh, well, for for me, I, you're all y'all are so practical, and I I actually want to live there. I was like, for me, I was like envisioning myself as this kind of like James Bond villain with like an old mansion, and so. So I want I want a person that's dressed in a swan suit and they just kind of like dance around and make like music noises and stuff. Like as as people like I invite people in and I talk to them and they're just like, what's with the swan person over there? And they're like, Woo-hoo. you know, it's like dancing around with their like swan suit, like from like the Oscars. If you remember like the Oscars from like, I don't know what that was like 2005. There was a lady in like a swan suit. Bjork? So, yeah. Bjork. Uh, yes, Bjork. Uh, yeah. Wait, so yeah, your luxury on. item is Bjork? Yes. I, I, basically okay i think josh is in the movie the bad batch yeah <laughs> yeah i think we have pinpointed his specific apocalypse <laughs> yeah oh god this is tough um because eric really made me want to get this seasoning 
Yeah, I'm really <laughs> and hungry it's a step now, up so from it... salt and pepper. I yeah, think. but I'm having a this. human as a luxury item that is, that is next level. That's what cannibals do. I, I was like, I'm just gonna go straight a vampire by this point. Mm. You know, <laughs> I'm gonna have to. Swan person. I'm gonna give it to Eric on this one because he really this was really intriguing, and now I want to look up this seasoning and now add it to everything I ever eat. Yeah, melt when you buy it or only steal it. Listen, I think you I think you might be able to purchase it for a god awful amount of money. Yeah. But listen, listen, the reason why Dan has really chosen me, let me tell you, is the wine solids. That's what really does it. What Where the, the hell are you? Solids? Exactly. So I found out because I was curious. OK, great. There is sediment that is left from wine. And you can turn that, dry it out, and turn it into a wine solid. No joke. I don't know. It's just, it's the best thing ever. I love the various raisins on my food. <laughs> it's raisins. It's like dry. No, not oh, raisins. It is. Yeah, it's just raisins. Yeah, yeah. Specifically red wine. Raisins. Oh, like raisins. Ra- mix some raisins into my hamburger helper. Mm. <laughs> Look, oh, God, delicious. Oh, you know, that, that apocalypse comes. You might be mixing raisins into your hamburger helper. <laughs> Oh, Mixing lots of things so in a good. hamburger helper. You already said possum. Possum. Possum yeah. and raisin hamper mm-hmm. helper. People well, hamburger you can't eat the possums. People. You can't eat the possums. I can't yeah. spell possum, so I can't hey, obviously hey, eat them. You can't even because they eat the ticks. Hey, I don't know where we, we all live, but oh, where hey, we live, we need yeah. the things to eat the ticks. Listen, you got a little garlic wine seasoning, you can eat a possum. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can eat anything with a little garlic wine seasoning on that. You can throw some ticks in there. Some ticks and some, some, that, some wine sediment. That, mm. Yeah, that makes mm-hmm. it tasty. The only <laughs> thing scarier to me than a zombie apocalypse is probably a tick apocalypse oh, for what it's worth. That's so we need a possum. Oh. No, that's um, the, so that, in my story, uh, death is, is basically broken. So it's not just people that are undead. It's animals and insects, too. So we actually kill people by insect in the book. Just want to throw that out there. New fear unlocked. Mm, That is, yeah, yeah, that's awful. I cannot wait to report to y'all my dream. I'm this gonna be great. (laughs) Let's just keep getting better. It's gonna be a really happy. Um, I'm really. I love reporting my nightmares. They're fun. Dan gets to hear them every morning. (laughs) I'm actually at a loss for which of these last three to ask. So I'm gonna uh, ask somebody. What do you? What do you want me to ask? And then I'll ask it. Uh, Pick a number. Two. Number two. Oh, sorry. Under personal apocalyptic style. We're the last one. Uh, 14. The last one? 14. What's your role in a post apocalyptic sure. community? Is that cool? I okay. Think Y'all are it. lost. I know, <laughs> sorry. I'm scrolling down. I, I haven't been keeping up. I, I said I was going to pants. He's this. like, no, that, that's, good. that's my job. That's my job. You know, All as right. the arbitrary chooser, I choose 13. I choose 15. Mm. <laughs> oh, shit. Now everybody wants a different one. Well, um, it's clear as um, mud. Okay. <laughs> We're going to go with you because you are the arbitrary chooser today. So your ideal zombie fighting partner is insert who here and why it can be anybody living or dead, any species, any robot, whatever you want. Your ideal zombie fighting partner is who? Okay. And starts now. Oh, I got it. <laughs> Eric's got this shit. And we're ready. Why does it keep? Be- I'm glad you all can't hear the beeping. Up, beeping there we go <laughs> josh you're up yeah well going with my uh, uh again my uh my cannibal persona i'm gonna have to come up with a cool name uh the king meat poppet or something but uh <laughs> but i'm gonna have like i'm gonna have like a small gymnast i'd love for a small gymnast that can ride on my back or whatever you know and like are up on my shoulder and i'm like yeah let's get us and, you know and he just like laughs at the stuff i say <laughs> like i'm like let's get us some meat pop it's like ah! You know, as we're like driving our ice cream truck or something, and like, and so, and then I can like pick him up and throw him at stuff, you know, and like, and like, or grab him by his feet, and he has like a sawed off weed whacker, and I just spin in a circle with him. And so, that's that's that's, that's fucking my wild. <laughs> That's my that's my dream in real life though, you know. It's like I want that that'd be so useful for so much stuff. Like I don't have to get out of the car to go to the ATM. I can just pick up my tiny gymnast child or whatever and throw him out the window and he like clicks the buttons and then comes back. One of your camp kids, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're all just like riding my Yeah, so this sounds practical (laughs) not just for the zombie apocalypse, but just regular real life. It's great. I mean like I don't want to get out of my car either. Yeah, people will take me seriously when I'm teaching. Like all the kids won't won't ask questions. They're just like, okay. Wait, <laughs> hold on. Cares. Which question are we doing? <laughs> you're your sidekick. <laughs> oh, who would be your sidekick? Got it. Okay. Yeah, your ideal zombie fighting partner. Now you sound like the kids that I teach, Eric. 
That's, <laughs> it's, it's very likely. Yes. Yes. This brain pings all over the place. Cool. Uh, Lori, who is your favorite zombie? I don't want to go after that. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say um, the uh, animated fox robin hood <laughs> yes oh yeah because um i'm a really good up up close and you know in personal fighter and i use the weapons but i need someone to shoot the people from far away and at least when they're animated a couple things one they never run out of arrows mm. <laughs> they, <laughs> they don't they don't have to follow physics and so they could you know like bend things around trees you know <laughs> and since he's a fox he would have like heightened scent of smell so we could smell the zombies coming let me know when they're coming yeah. Well, if you ever seen the Dawn of the Dead remake, they even played some of the music from uh from that movie actually, like the Robin Hood. So he's already fighting the zombies. So, yes. so he's already got experience. Yes. I gotta I gotta look into this now. I did not know that. <laughs> it's it's playing in like the mall. It's like Doo, Yeah, yeah. Doo, doo. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> you know, I uh, admittedly have not seen that Robin Hood version. Oh um, so I mean it would have been like peak like me being a child and loving disney at that time so i don't know what happened i don't know why it was completely off my radar maybe my parents were getting divorced i don't know <laughs> oh, trauma blight yeah, yeah. Lost it all memory. but it'd be, it'd be so cool though just to see him like you know split an arrow in the zombie's head like get the yeah. zombie yeah. with a bullseye and then split it yeah, yeah he like fires an arrow and then he, shoots another arrow that yeah. splits that arrow in half off at this point while he's <laughs> yeah. while we're singing disney songs <laughs> I'll, I'll, in this I'll, universe I'll are that. you also a cartoon or just your no just he okay. just him isn't yeah okay <laughs> only one of you is two-dimensional <laughs> <laughs> the rest of yep. us are shooting glitter bombs and precious moments out of shotguns yeah. <laughs> and robin hood fox robin hood fox is yeah like normal robin people robin <laughs> yeah see I, now i want to take an arrow and like stab a zombie in the head with the arrow and then i want to throw a small gymnast and split the arrow with the small <laughs> gymnast like throw him through the zombie he just kicks it through the zombie's yeah. head <laughs> with this little sawed off weed wagon like, <laughs> sounds like that eric you gotta follow yeah this. i'm sorry oh my gosh eric. okay sorry. so this wouldn't have been my answer three weeks ago but i <laughs> <clears throat> pay attention to pop culture uh so Listen, it's going to be Britney Spears with her knives. Listen, <laughs> I'll tell you what, like imagine, okay, we're here at Diana Ross's disco fort in the woods for the post-apocalyptic and like the zombies are coming and we just shoot her out like a Beyblade. Like, <laughs> like <laughs> with those knives, like did you see the word, the choreography, the pageantry? That's what we're doing. So she is going to be my zombie fighting, um, my zombie weapon. fighting side partner for sure. I, I yeah, love she's Bay, got some Bay, moves. Bay Brittany. Bay Brittany. <laughs> yes. Yes. She just, and she just Ooh, she all did it the way out the gates and, and just with even, those knives. He doesn't even have to do anything. It's just like, Brittany. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm like, get up, get up. We're dancing. We're jazzercising. You can go. Honey, can you get over there? They're coming at the gate. Come on. <laughs> and, and there's a lot of other perks to having Britney Spears as your as your zombie fighting partner. Like she's oh. she has celebrity. So uh, many shenanigans rec recognition yeah like yeah. You, know. you show up at somebody's zombie right. survivor camp and they're like they're like we can't <laughs> feed any more people you go you go you leave you get out of yeah. here and then and it's like is that wait are you with britney spears mm -hmm. and it's like oh okay come I'm in it. <laughs> yeah you can, you can bring her to my I got my mansion or whatever, little soiree. <laughs> no, you're gonna try and eat them. No. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna give this one to Eric. I think uh, I think having Britney Spears as your partner oh, is yeah. a great idea. Ooh, uh, give her especially a Spears. Yeah, give Britney yeah, give her Spears. Spears. Britney like, I know, Spears. Uh, like I know that I came up with the idea, but in the realm of what Leah was talking about now, just the thought of Britney Spears as a Beyblade flies. That visual is stuck <laughs> in my head. It's just so and funny. I just. I'm seeing her like fly out the gates of a fort. Like I just can't stop seeing it now. <laughs> oh, the then she goes Britney. over the edge. <laughs> yeah. So I have news. Y'all are tied. Ooh, hey, man, are you okay. doing this on purpose? This is a tight race. I am not. I am. I'm. There is no corruption in this in this <laughs> game show. I am choosing who has the best answers and not uh, uh leveling it so that people are tied and they have to do a tiebreaker at the end. That's not what I'm doing. Yeah. Well, we all got to win that that sideways or diagonal backsplash that you guys promised. <laughs> that, that, that's the prize that's in my head. Yeah. Leah, and Dan, Leah and Dan are like, crap, we're going to have to get two more tickets to Universal Horror Nights now for them. Yeah. Dang it. Yeah. Oh, man, it's rough. 
Well, that's a lofty $1. idea for what our, your prize is, Eric. I hate to break it to you. <laughs> so, um, okay. All right. We've got three official questions left, and we'll see if we need a tiebreaker um, or if folks really want to answer another one we can finish. But we are on to what I was most looking forward to at this, which is bonus round four. You're a zombie now. Mm. <laughs> Because isn't that everybody's ultimate dream is to be the zombie? Is it just me? Yeah, that's you, that's the goal, now? right? Oh, I already was a zombie. Like you're, oh. <laughs> you're now. Presley, yeah, if I work the cannibal, you're kind of in the in between space. Yeah, if I if I work enough on this movie, I'm going to be a zombie. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> well, you are a zombie now. Who would you eat first? It can be anyone. You have to be specific, though. <laughs> you don't have to use the actual name if you need to use a different name. But I want a specific answer and why. Do you all ponder? I have. Jeopardy music I had right now. Why popping <laughs> back and forth? And we're up. Oh, it still does that dang beeping. Okay. Um, Lori. I'm stuck on this one. Eat? Um there's just so many gonna, choices. Gonna, I know. I was like, do I say a politician? Because that would be <laughs> great. Do I say uh my nosy neighbor? I uh, know, I'm gonna go big bird. Um <laughs> The biggest chicken leg you can find. <laughs> I mean, you gotta, I mean, yeah, you gotta go for where the most meat is. I'm going Big Bird. <laughs> I feel really bad for whoever's inside of that costume because they had a uh, Too bad. Wait, there's somebody inside? Like chicken now. <laughs> oh, yeah, you didn't Big know Bird Big Bird's him. not real, Dan? Uh, no, Big Bird ate the person. <laughs> you imagine zombies chasing a Big Bird? <laughs> <laughs> Tastes wow. like chicken. Tastes like Runs chicken. Like... <laughs> oh, hey. you're eating me. Yeah, R is for run. <laughs> R is for run. <laughs> Put a little sesame Brought on that you bird. Yeah. <laughs> it's a sesame, a sesame bird chicken. <laughs> yes. Delicious. Delicious. It's a short street. You can't run too far, bird. We're gonna it's gonna be, with a little uh, garlic and wine seed. Yeah. <laughs> That's all you need. All I need is those sediments from wine wine leavings yeah. or whatever. Put those raisins, raisins. on that bird. <laughs> <laughs> delicious, delicious. Uh, Eric, if it's not Big Bird, who is it for yeah. you? Yeah. Uh, so who's here's who I would eat first? The rich. <laughs> I would eat the rich. And yes, it's that vague. The rich. <laughs> So there you have it. Point blank, simple answer. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I, I only live about like 35 minutes from some of them. So they're not that far away. They yeah, it's up convenient. Mercer Island. Yeah, yeah. So I can I can hop up there. I can actually take the water, go on the Puget Sound and just kind of right up there. So, yeah, yeah. Grab a houseboat, head up to Mercer some, Island. Get, grab, grab your seasoning. Yeah. Bring your seasoning. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff Bezos, I'll see you soon. <laughs> <laughs> FBI, do not come for me. Thank you. I know. I was like, oh, we're so on a list. We are. God. Josh, I mean, you were planning on eating people as a person. So, yeah, right off the really bat, curious. just my first run, and it was like George Lucas. I was like, I was like, mm. I, I just want to meet him first. And then I was like, I bet, you know, having made Star Wars, he tastes pretty stellar. <laughs> ah. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> it's, I saved you from the banker one. I was like, I'm going to eat a banker because. They're, they might be a little bit rich. I'm sorry. I thought that was a pretty safe <laughs> joke. <laughs> oh, God. These podcasts. I'll, 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 I'll tell these jokes, and if people don't laugh at them while I'm deleting a person, point I'm from Josh. <laughs> you got negative points? <laughs> um, you know, I, uh, I, think, I think the, uh, the winner here is Lori. Um, boy, I was not expecting Big Bird. <laughs> I was imagining like what what it might look like after you pluck all those feathers. <laughs> it'll, it'll make a great montage of just running, chasing Big Bird in yeah, slow that's motion. What I was thinking. Big Bird like running throws away. down, throws down Oscar's trash can, like and just like running, you know. And then it's like it's like playing like Sunny Days, like Sunny. <laughs> and, and please remember that, like, yeah. and please remember like that a minor Big Bird. Key. Big Bird is literally like a pear shape too. Like yeah. so, like the bottom half of of Big Bird is like three times the size of the top. So it's going yeah, to almost yeah. be like a like a balancing yeah. act. As like yeah, and the so zombies are all darkness. running with the garlic and wine seasoning. Uh -huh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Throwing precious moments at Big yeah. Bird. Yeah, yeah. And everyone just runs right past Grover. Like nah, you're mm -hmm. you're kind of gangly looking. Yes. Yeah, Big Bird rounds <laughs> the bird. 
Big Bird yeah. rounds a corner thinking he's about to get away and runs right into Britney Spears. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Stuffing is now flying everywhere. Yeah, the time like, to carve this bird. Yeah. Just poly fli- <laughs> just polyfill flying through the sky. I really see a collab in y'all's future. I want to see this. I was going to yeah. say, this is the craziest comic book we could write. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm dropping my whole movie here. I was just making a regular zombie movie, but now, now they, there we go. <laughs> All right, we're on to the next one. Second last question. So got to get those points, folks, especially uh, Josh and Eric. If y'all want to tie Lori, this is your moment. If zombies could talk, what do you think they'd complain about? Okay, Eric, you're up first for this one. Oh, my God, their feet are killing them. Oh, my (laughs) God. Like they never get a chance to sit down. They are just those their feet must be in agony. (laughs) I can relate to this. Yes. Right. It's like, I mean, imagine that feeling when you first get up in the morning, you're trying to walk and you're like, oh, my gosh. Imagine them never even got to sit down. <laughs> I, again, the movie moment, there was like the zombies and they were like complaining to the zombie and the zombie like is missing its lower half of its body. He's just sitting there like, like, oh, man, my feet and stuff. And the zombie just staring at him, like laying on the ground. Like, yeah, yeah, I get that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah are they- That's rough. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a guy carrying a tree the other day. <laughs> what, what is that <laughs> josh what are your zombies complaining about yeah and you know i'm going to yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to go with like doors and escalators it's just like you can't get through a door or an escalator if you're like the classic zombie and it's like you get that one zombie that's like stuck on the escalator for like an hour or whatever it's like trying to walk and stuff and it just wants to eat somebody and then you know it's either that or like the really dumb survivors they probably don't taste very good if they're after brains and like you get like the original dawn of the dead where you got the guy like shoved his arm in like an air pressure cuff and it's like stuck in there and then oh he's yeah him. it's like what was going on there and so it's like <laughs> well it's like, not a good choice <laughs> probably like a weird mixture of that it's like it's like you know you can't open a door and then your only food source is the, the people that are just making foolish just says you know you don't yeah. get to eat the smart ones yeah you don't eat the mm. smart you, you know what that's that's a problem you know they eat the brains but they only get to eat the dumbest people yeah it's junk food really yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a vicious cycle. It doesn't help. <laughs> Lori, what about you? What are they complaining about? They complain about the smell. <laughs> um, but the problem is, is they don't realize it's them. So they're constantly giving each other dirty looks like, you stink, man. You know what I mean? Like, it's always somebody else. Like, it's too every like someone farts and no one wants to claim it. It's like that. They just don't. Somebody else. It's somebody else that stinks like that. It's not me. I'm fresh. You, you need to go put on some more deodorant, dude, because I can smell you from over here. Uh, so yeah, they just smell each other all day long, and it's just terrible. Yeah, mm. well, once, once again, I got the one up on this. I'm already there, you know. I'm the one that smells. And it's like, what is this guy doing? They can, they, nobody can smell you over the internet. Like That's you, our you, new tagline. Um, you're on the wrong team, Josh. You're already on the zombie side when you should be on the living side. When yeah, you're I, you're I think I might there. actually thrive in the zombie apocalypse. Mm-hmm. So I like, <laughs> yeah, I mean, you all pick the zombie apocalypse over the 40 hour work week. So <laughs> that's, that's something. Dan, you, know, you have um, a winner. Yeah. So I'm, I'm going to pick uh, Josh on this one uh, solely because when he was talking about uh, escalators and stairs, I had an image of like a Jerry Seinfeld zombie. <laughs> he was just doing a sat where he's like, what's the deal with doorknobs? You can't turn them. Oh, you just bump into them all day. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's those smart survivors that just stand right on the other side of the glass door staring at you and you can't open the door. Yeah. It's like, oh, I want to eat that. Rough. Yeah. Go find this guy over here that's like, I don't know, like laying on the ground or something or <laughs> dressing up like a clown. Yeah. So, know, somebody that's um, like tries to climb a tree and then falls out and breaks his leg. And then he's like, oh, I, I did a dumb thing. And now zombies are chasing me. <laughs> I already do that, too. No. I like when they, Dang. like, line the house, the outside of the house with treadmills. They're like, zombie protection. <laughs> <laughs> it in. That's a creative solution. Mm-hmm. Okay, this is the last question. Right now we got a tie between Lori and Josh. Eric, let's see what happens. It's going to be rough if, we, if you give Eric the point, Dan. But you can I mean, do you know, what happens, happens. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you get bit and become a zombie. What are you most likely wearing until you rot? Mm. <laughs> I wonder if it's going to be my blessing or my curse that I just let the first thing that come to my head just go with it. Like, Perfect. <laughs> yeah, usually uh, the first instinct is the best instinct. Yeah. 
You all look ready to answer this one, or do you need to think about it? All right. All right. Um, Laura, you went first, right? The last time? Yeah, I did. Okay. Eric. I'm going with the Lady Gaga meat dress from the VMAs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wearing it. I'm now a zombie. I'm not concerned about getting bit. It's already happened. I'm wearing the Lady Gaga meat dress down into, and then I will just go back into the earth one day. Some animals are going to come and try to eat me as a zombie. <laughs> it's fine. Let's just do this. But I'm going out in fashion and uh, in a horrible carcass that is so fitting for apocalypse. I have a follow up to this, which is like, in what scenario are you wearing Lady Gaga's meat dress when you get bit by zombies? <laughs> I'm mean, I walking through the w- fall woods, um, just <laughs> looking yeah. for... Peeping. Leaf looking peeping. For, <laughs> yes, I am a, a peeping leafer and uh, just kind of... In the meat dress, the hat yeah. too, and the heels with the with the meat wrapped around the just the whole ensemble. <laughs> so the rotting yeah. meat on rotting meat, kind of like a turducken. Yeah. You're like Absolutely. the golden, it's, yeah. You're like meat the golden stag. You're the golden Inception. stag for my meat poppets. Like you're what we've yes. been hunting for this entire. We crossed the entire <laughs> yes. country looking yes. for you. Congrats, <laughs> you found the final boss. Like yeah. here we go. <laughs> this is it. Good lord, can you imagine oh, meeting that in the woods? Yeah. <laughs> turn around, turn around, we're going back. Yeah. <laughs> so if you get bit and become a zombie, what are you wearing, Josh? So, you know, I, I thought I thought we were going off like what we were typically wearing. And I'm like, these days, I, like 80% of the time I'm on Zoom meetings. So I was going to go with Zoom clothes where like right now I'm wearing like a nice suit and tie, but I'm also wearing shorts. And so I'm just walking <laughs> around like my shorts and like my floofy socks. And so like, I really want to be that zombie in the movie that's like, in the background like you have the horde of zombies but there's always that weird like football gear zombie like that got bit apparently like playing a football game with yeah. a clown zombie Man, so i want to be like a weird i want to be like weird like suit and tie and shorts guy or whatever you know yeah. so Classic. that or you know if i can wear my like swan suit i guess i'll wear that <laughs> what's the color of floofy sock i'm picturing pink but i don't know if this is accurate you know it's funny it is actually pink <laughs> it's like i got neon pink <laughs> floofy socks <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> Lori. So, um, when I feel anxious, I like to wear a uh, Pikachu onesie. <laughs> Adult size Pikachu onesie. <laughs> yes. Um, so I will be wearing that for comfort when I get bit by a zombie. So I will be wandering eternity as Pikachu. <laughs> in a Pikachu onesie. Lori, I have the Pikachu onesie. Great choice. <laughs> it's hanging next to his meat suit. Yeah, like in the closet. It's like, there. which one do I wear today? Pikachu onesie or meat suit? Come on, internet. <laughs> well, you know, you, uh, Lori, you're you're like perfect for the uh, for that call. Sorry, I froze. I was gonna say that we could match, Eric. <laughs> Matching Pikachus. Oh yeah, the weird oh, double. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we have two. We have two, actually. Yeah. So look, we Josh, you got one too. Yeah, Let's we go. can all be. Yes. We can yeah. be like be a band. We could be Pikachu the zombie zombies. Pikachus yeah. in the apocalypse. Pikachu yeah. gang. <laughs> That's the like, gang. And then when you're going to like when you corner up on somebody that you're uh, you're hunting down to eat them, you'd be we'll like, I them. choose you. Yeah. No, we just say Pika <laughs> and like a. Pika. Yeah. I choose Pika. you, Bay Brittany. <laughs> Can, Pika, I, can Pika, I be like Pika. the? Can I be like the Mr. Mime? It's like the, I'm the one in person, the group that didn't get the memo, and I just dress up as a Mr. Mime because they're just creepy anyway. Like, I hate those. Yeah, they're the worst. So it'd be well, perfect for the Coliseum scene. You always have that zombie Coliseum that shows up eventually. Like someone always sets up a zombie Coliseum, so they can throw out the the, the zombie yeah. Pikachu, and then we can have it fight Britney Spears. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> uh, this that would be this entertaining. Is a, this is a tough decision because I really love the idea of zombie Pikachu, um, <laughs> especially just the Pikachu at, uh, onesie as a survival item of clothing. Because Imagine. I mean, why not? <laughs> and then you get I mean, ironic, if you give ironic it to me, moment. then I can win, and we don't have to do a playoff. Unfortunately, <laughs> um, when Eric said meat Darn. suit, I just about uh, peed my pants. You can't be, yeah, you can't be a meat suit. <laughs> I'm yeah. sorry. A meat suit. suit in the apocalypse would be scary as as swear words. I'm just, you just I'm, I'm, you know you can little, swear little, on this podcast <laughs> <laughs> a little little seasoning. You just throw a little seasoning all over your shoulders too. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it meat, the, yes, it is seasoned with the wine and garlic <laughs> spice. Yeah. Delicious. <laughs> so Dan, I know you didn't plan this, but we do have a three-way tie. Yeah, that's wow. So how weird. 
that that happened. How weird. So what is the topic going to be? We didn't, I honestly didn't plan for this. Uh, I mean, we could, I, I, uh, we could go with a uh, a question that we didn't ask. There's there's definitely one that I think uh, is a good question, and this could right. be the tiebreaker. Um, Just make it really brainy, like the Webster's Dictionary defines zombie as this. Like, <laughs> <laughs> can you conjugate that? <laughs> uh, question number five, Leah. Mm. <laughs> this sounds mysterious. We've been watching a lot of reality TV, so this makes sense that you want to ask this one. I don't see it on the spreadsheet. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want me to ask it, right? Yes. <laughs> uh, what reality TV show would best prepare you for surviving a zombie apocalypse? <laughs> uh, oh, my God. Oh, no. <laughs> Got the countdown going right now. I feel like, Lori, you're Googling quickly. I am. I'm looking at the name TV of it. <laughs> That's it. Okay, I got it. I was like, I can't remember the name of the show. Need to be accurate. Does anyone need more time? No. All right. So I think, Josh, you get to answer the last question first. Sounds like fun. All right. I am torn between two shows that I absolutely loved. Uh, uh, one was called one was called The Colony. It was a uh, it was one where they got people in L.A. and they put them all in a little warehouse in like kind of an abandoned section of L.A. and made them live there for like ten weeks, and all these wow. people had to survive. And they made it like a post-apocalyptic scenario and they had like biker gangs that would show up and bang on the walls in the night. And, had, and these people started like believing they were there. There was this guy named the professor and he's like stripped down naked. He's like standing in the rain and he's like taught him how to like, I learned a lot. I learned how to build a wood gasifier stove and all this and how to, wow. how to daisy chain batteries from this. They made like these poles that actually zap people. And at one point they like <laughs> broke containment in real life. They actually climbed into these people's backyard and started ripping oranges off their tree. <laughs> so it's like the, the third season of the show actually got canceled because of like insanity on set that like people were going nuts and actually like, attacking people's houses and stuff and like it was nuts and so it's it's a toss-up between that or a uh, kid nation uh, kid nation was one that was way back in the day that was like they, it's so horrible i i watched it once and i'm like this is like my nightmare as a director at a camp like this is what would happen if all the counselors disappeared. and so i always treat the counselors really nice because it's like all these kids were moved to an old west abandoned town and they like had to live there for a year and their parents didn't even know exactly what this was so when their parents this was legal up, yeah, it, 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 there's a it's lot of question going. of that. It's actually it's it, it's a it's a whole debate now. They actually study these kids. They're adults now, and a lot of them are like half have like big problems, the other half are like CEOs. It's like really bizarre. <laughs> but like these kids were like they had a tornado go through, and something lit on fire, and they started their own little rival gangs. There was like the arcade versus like versus the candy shop, and they like like the kids killed a chicken on, on the thing, and like and like and they're like their parents showed up they're like yeah this is the chicken we killed and the parents are like what, what did i send my kid to i thought it was like a summer camp <laughs> <laughs> and so watch watch it up and like watch the highlights from it it's horror it's like horrifying so uh between the two of those i'm pretty good i think i'm i think i'm ready to rock <laughs> I haven't seen either, but I got to say my inner like former human subject re researcher is like Kid Nation. Oh, both, really? both, of, both of them are problematic. Like, I was oh, thinking of that show. Oh, yeah, my bo God. Bo both of them are like psychological studies now. They're like they look at both like the colony and Kid Nation. They're both like actually be used in a lot of studies. <laughs> Wow. This is going to be in textbooks with the fucked up things we did in the reality TV yeah. era to each other. Yeah, it's like, that, uh, monkey. It's like that, that monkey, that, that monkey that didn't have like a towel at barbed wire. You had a barbed wire monkey and it grew up. Oh, yes. And then there's yeah. a towel one. It's like it's like that, but with people. So it's really cool. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> it's wow. really definitely would meet uh, all of the informed consent yeah. rules. Lori, <laughs> what about you? Um, I'm gonna go full on flavor of love. Ooh, <laughs> you guys are not familiar with this show. It's a uh, a bunch of women who are fighting to win over the uh, uh real life flavor of flav. Now, in the apocalypse, you can use this to uh, fight your friends and enemies to uh, win over your cannibalistic overlord <laughs> with his swan buddy and his child on his back. That's what you need to do, people. Figure out I'm how to flavor steal. that I'm chicken. A steal. Your wine and garlic sauce to win the contest and win your place with your cannibalistic overlord. Mm, that the grand prize. Fall in love. <laughs> with reality and i gotta say that new york i don't know if anyone remembers new york oh yes tiffany pollard on the stairs is a really great technique for like i don't know which shitting on the stairs stop a zombie i guess you might slip <laughs> maybe 
It's still yeah. just wild to me. There was a show where the grand prize was Flavor Flav. 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 <laughs> Dad, just like it. the one with, what was his name? Brett Michaels. That was another one, right? <laughs> where Eric, it was the same concept. I was like, Eric, what do you think you're on? That is the grand prize here for Flavor Flav. It's coming to, <laughs> coming to visit. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put him in a swan suit. It's going to be great. <laughs> I, was seen, I was like, directly correlates to how uh, the apocalypse will look. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> now, now, I, now I really badly want to make a, a zombie bachelor show like a mockumentary yes. and just have like people like trying to like woo the cannibal person yeah, that's like I mean? the <laughs> dancing thing like during the zombie apocalypse <laughs> Eric you're last but not least so I changed my answer uh, like I was thinking about it and I thought okay well what's popular in pop culture right now you guys just did an episode on zombie the zombie uh, was it zombie verse right zombie yeah. Verse, like, yeah. like that show However, no. Then I remembered this thing that I had heard about, and you guys have probably heard about it too. There is a show called Susunu in Asia with a gentleman who was put under, he was basically put in a box for like 300 and something days, and he kept getting moved around. It was a Truman S thing. The guy's name was, um, I believe it was Nasubi. Um, but it was basically like this show where they took this guy and they like, it was like a survival esque kind of concept and like he was left in a box and it was like a psychological torture basically and so i'm like okay it's really really wild you should look into it uh because it's yeah very very dark but very intriguing and interesting as well um but i mean i guess in that sense where like you're learning about being isolated and having to keep yourself isolated like that could be some beneficial benefits there in a zombie world yeah, I think our new okay. podcast is like, what's the difference between between reality TV and psychological torture? Because I'm not I'm not sure there is one anymore. Yeah, that is <laughs> yeah. very true. <laughs> yeah, Dan, uh, it is time for you to hmm. break the tie. Is it, well. is it too late to change my answer to is it cake? <laughs> like, I feel like that's a, not a bad one, too. I was like, yeah, that, I is that a cake. zombie or is it cake? I don't know. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, God, I, this is really tough. Um all the pressures on you this is what rupaul's life is like yeah too. this is alone. i feel like i am rupaul right now <laughs> you can join the um the um the, uh, i don't even remember it's got Leah? Words. i've made my decision hour, 40 hour work week <laughs> i've made my, my decision danny flappers you know i i'm gonna go with laurie on this one because yes. uh flavor yes. of love is like it's 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 a course in how to develop social relationships in a wasteland. Yeah. <laughs> when something you really don't want. Yeah. And I feel like, like. Learn to live with a, a rough prize in, in the zombie apocalypse. Yeah. And I feel like that's a lesson that we can end on in this competition. <laughs> <laughs> Which brings us so first of all, yay, Lori will insert Woo! Woo! Yeah, Lori. And Thank you. Uh, participation prizes, Josh and Eric, which is basically just me going, good for you. <laughs> Thanks for joining. <laughs> so, Lori, I'm taking my rights. garlic and wine seasoning and I'm out of here. I'm oh, <laughs> Lori, you have plans. a life-changing choice in front of you. There are two different prize options, and you get to pick. Okay. Will you pick door number one, which is my choice, or door number two? Which is Dan's choice. Now, is she a zombie? Because they can't open doors. We establish that. <laughs> <laughs> it's so frustrating. You have these choices, but you can't get the prize. Um, seeing that Le Leah joined the uh, Little Mermaid call signs, <laughs> she's part of the Fanny Flappers Precious Moments. I'm going to go with Leah. <laughs> I so appreciate that. I hope you love your, your prize. One moment. We're going to put it in the chat for you. Excellent. And you get to describe for everybody what it is. Uh, it looks like an Amazon uh, Amazon product description again. Uh, it's like a link. <laughs> <laughs> uh, excuse me. It is Goosh, the three foot Halloween car zombie baby inflatable sitting car decoration blow up yard car zombie baby with built in LEDs for car garden lawn and decor. Yes. <laughs> that this is going to look great in your car. Now you too I can ride in the Angel V lane. my children with this. Great. Yes. <laughs> now you can ride in the, the HOV lane. Yes. <laughs> What's that? No, we're totally terrifying the kids with it. It's going to sit right in between them. <laughs> <laughs> that is wonderful because you need to tell us to sh share a picture of it. I when you get share? it how do i do that oh oh not on the not now. Okay, no no we'll be oh my god that's it's, a, it's, it's in your car right now holy moly <laughs> it's, it's, it's everything your... you hoped for and it, more it like takes up the whole seat 
Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to know the grand prize you would have gotten if you picked door number two? Yeah, let's take a look. All right. One moment. <laughs> It's like it's like your own personal little gymnast. You can take yeah, the zombie really, baby and put it on your exactly back. This is exactly what it is. I could yeah. put it on my back and walk around. Go down to the bank or whatever, you know. Oh my no, god! I, <laughs> you really dodged a bullet. Oh, I think. Oh this man! Moment. I like. It. I'm loving. Better. I'm loving round two goosh. Are you ready? <laughs> <clears throat> Goosh, four foot Halloween inflatable baby, outdoor decoration, blow up yard, scary zombie baby with built in LEDs for indoor garden lawn party decor. It's the same baby, but it's crawling and its mouth is open. And um, that is nightmare fuel, people. <laughs> that, 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 would look, that would look handsome in the dining room. I'm just saying. I was like, yeah. Are you, <laughs> are you glad you stay with the fanny? Oh, I am. I'm moments. so glad. <laughs> That uh, we chose that first option. He can sit in the car and not blow away. I feel like the other one, I'd have to stake him to the ground in order for him not to blow away. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Unfortunately, they didn't make them any bigger than four feet tall. Oh, my <laughs> Lord, you guys. We're trying to find larger. <laughs> I, I, yeah. think yeah. a, I think you're like 17 you'd be a foot the baby, blow up not the... inflatable baby. <laughs> <laughs> so, Lori, we'll be asking you for your mailing address later, or you can, you can sign it, create a wish list, and we'll mail it to you. <laughs> uh, but for now, thank you all so much for making my zombie ween dreams come true. This is the best Halloween zombie ween ever. The first one also. And before we close for the day, is there any final closing words of wisdom that you would like to share with the audience? Eric. And where to find you. Oh, yeah. Well, like I said, uh, uh, um, you can find me at ericloyddesigns.com or on Instagram at eric010 or ericloyddesigns. And uh, take care of yourselves. Take care of your loved ones. Uh, be good oh. to the world. Be good to yourself. And yeah, take care. That's so sweet, Eric. Josh. Yeah, I have to say, uh, you know, come join the cannibals. Uh, I was like, it's, it's wise, <laughs> you know, we have hamburger helper and swans. So that's pretty fun. Uh, but uh uh, yeah, and again, uh, you know, I'm I'm working. I got I, I just opened up that that crowdfunding for the, my film Husk. If you want to come support a film and get to meet some of those actors or get the autographs and things, we have all sorts of really cool prizes. And five percent of it goes to childhood disease research and treatment. And so, so we're giving money away to that. Which you're, you're supporting a good cause. And if you're part of part of this whole network, uh, I, I give a bit of money to uh, Leah and Dan. If uh, if you sign up and say, hey, I'm, I'm uh, you know, I know Leah and Dan or let them know and they can let me know and I'll happily uh, 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 give some of that money to them as well as a nice as a nice thank you, because I love your wow. show, Leah and Dan. Thanks, Josh. This is we did. Actually, you are paying us. Or no, you're paying us to tell us how great we are. This is great. OK, yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think you got a really great. bad deal here. <laughs> as the winner of the inaugural Zombie Ween game show, what are your final thoughts? All right, peoples. Well, again, I'm Lori Calcaterra. I'm the writer creator of Path of the Pale Writer. You can find me on all the socials. If you look up Path of the Pale Writer or Lori Calcaterra, I pop up. Um, I also have a show on Tuesdays called the Tuesday Morning Brew. You can see me on the comic related madness network um, at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, where we do uh, interview indie, indie creators. And I also do hijinks like smash watermelons and pumpkins. Um, my words for you are apocalyptic base. Remember, in the apocalypse, swords don't run out of bullets. It's good advice. <laughs> Unless really it's a gun blade from Final Fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we'll do our little outro after this, Dan. But for now, if we could all end just again, thank you so much. This was super fun. If we could all just end by saying happy how ha ha Happy Halloween. Fuck that. Happy zombie ween. Yeah, that's what we uh, celebrate. On the count of one, two, three to say goodbye to our listeners. One, two, three. Happy, happy zombie, 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 zombie ween. Happy zombie ween. Zombie weeners. I'm to do my mermaid. Whoa, that was a, that was crazy. That was a good time, wasn't it, Leah? <laughs> Uh, I think my brain is broken because they were all so quick fucking witted. I could not keep up. Like it was amazing. Yeah. There were yeah. times when, um, when, uh, they would just, they would just go into their descriptions, you know, and I'm like, I'm like, you know, I'm really glad that all I have to do is sit here and smile. <laughs> Cause <laughs> yeah, they were on. Yeah. They were hilarious. I love, I love those people. I do too. And truly, uh, Lori, Eric, Josh, you need to collab and create this because I think a really, <laughs> a really great movie or 
book has emerged, um, particularly with eating Big Bird. <laughs> I need to see this happen <laughs> from the Fanny Flapper uh, precious moments. <laughs> um, but uh, thanks, thanks everybody for listening. Uh, this is this is our first annual Zombie Ween game show. We mentioned that earlier, but we're saying it again uh, because we wanted to, we want to do something uh, like this, if not this exact thing, every Ween. I mean, you always need a wiener for zombie <laughs> wiener. <laughs> um, but uh, let us let us know what your favorite part of the show was. Uh, did did I get it right? Did I it's did I great. score everything correctly? Would you have picked a different person for whatever answer? You know. I mean, let it was a know. tough race. I yeah. think Lori deserved the win, but Josh and Eric were like right on her heels. Yeah, there were some really good answers there. I I can't deny. Um, yeah. So, uh, so um, don't forget, we are reading for episode 25. We're reading a book. It's called Clay's Ark uh, by Octavia Butler, the visionary Octavia Butler. That's right. Um, I haven't read this yet. Neither you know, have I, but it's Octavia Butler. So I am motivated to read it because she's yeah. a just incredible author. If you've not read an Octavia Butler book, I promise you, you will not be disappointed. I don't care what book it is. And in this case, it's Clay's Ark. It's an extraterrestrial zombie story. Yeah. Um, so there's a this is part of a series. And so, mm-hmm. you know, when, when I looked it up, like I had to like Wikipedia this because like I'm like, how is book one uh, like in the 80s? But book three is in 1976, like when when she wrote it. Um, but they're like all like uh they're all standalone stories and then there's only like a suggested order that you read them in uh, but there's uh what five five in the series i have I think. no idea i think it's five <laughs> i have no idea you're asking a person to remember it's, something that's a fact now there's, there's five. five go oh, David, go yeah, read no. all five <laughs> so she can't correct us <laughs> um just read clay's arc for now yeah i'm really curious what the car families are i mean they're probably living in cars yeah, I, th- I think that might be what it but means. But are they singing Little Mermaid songs? They they better, they? Be. they better be. But yeah. it it was written before the Little Mermaid came out. So is there a tree in somebody's trunk that they're carrying? Yeah, there might be. What kind of seasonings do they use? <laughs> <laughs> um, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, you know, we don't say it enough, uh, but this is a podcast, <laughs> and you can subscribe to it. Um, but and that's the best way to uh to support us. But you can also rate and review. Um I prefer five stars. <laughs> uh nothing lower than four point nine for sure. Um, let's stick with five. Somebody yeah. actually took us seriously when we said like <laughs> yeah. please give us a four, and now it's uh forever haunting me that we made that joke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but thanks for listening, everybody. You can follow us on Instagram and threads. Um there's a link tree in our description, but also in our description for this episode is going to be all the links uh, for uh, Lori, uh, Lori Calcaterra, um, uh, former uh, person formerly known as Brandon, uh, Joshua, Joshua Grant, <laughs> Joshua Grant, another and, zombie um, apocalypse, and also Eric, our good friend who uh, does uh, this design stuff. He's on the Instagram. He makes funny things. He yeah, is also on TikTok. Probably the same. Uh, handles i don't know but he's really funny yeah i'm tired uh, this is getting bad at the end you can just edit this out (laughs) no i think we're doing great leah Uh, but anyways happy zombie ween everyone happy zombie ween yeah see you next time bye everybody bye